Shalom everyone. Welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministries, the ministry channel. It's a ministry channel. Predestined Kingdom Ministries International Videos. This word is so positive. It's so positive. The Lord is just confirming to some of us that we have friends in high places. Okay, we have friends in high places. So sometimes we get those battles where we just got stubborn spirits. They won't leave or stop doing whatever you're asking asking them to respect or what the Lord has told them to do. And so that's when God says, I'm divinely stepping in. And so you have friends in high places. So you don't have to worry. Like a lot of, I'm sorry, I have to say, this is the messages I get. Like when these people be provoking me to wrath and anger and trying to sabotage my relationships. That's what they tell me. They say, well, we're stronger than you. Like they bullies. And so that's when God has the divinely step in because you endured that, because you waited, because you didn't do what they did, but you defended yourself in a um, yes, yes, amen way, a way that was pleasing unto God. And so that's when he comes and he says, okay, I'm divinely stepping in to remove all difficulties, to give you that spiritual protection. And so anytime you as an enemy are fighting someone and you know that your gifts are stronger than them, but what's coming back is stronger, you have to know that it's God. And so that's the number one message that I saw God rebuking all these spirit entities lurking around me all day. When someone tells you to stop or to go in peace or not to come back, you provoke them to wrath. Not like you care because you continuously do it because somewhere you're hurt. And it's not that person fault that you keep beating up. You're just mad at God for allowing this person to go a certain way. But that's what he's saying is really not your business. If he gives you everything you asked for, what's it to you if he says yes, she can go ahead and do that by my grace being sufficient. And so when you come around as a third party, as a woman, when the man keep telling you, I chose her, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but I want her. You provoke the woman to wrath because now she got to defend what this man is saying yes to with her, the family. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because now they're considering each other a family. So when you come in as an ex-pastor, and you say, well, you need to be with this person and I'm going to keep stopping this. That's provoking someone to wrath. And then you go and you put 555 on your, on your social media. When God says, there is no grace and mercy for the wicked. And so when you do evil and then you say, but God says I'm blessed and not cursed. That's when the Lord says, believe not every spirit that speaks to you. Because now you're confused. You think that I buy. You think that what you're doing is not evil. And then when the Lord tells you to do something good, you're rebuking him saying it's not in the Bible, Lord, but really it is under different words. When he says that I am that I am, that means he could do what he wants to do. He can play God. And so when you keep trespassing in this airplane that's getting ready to fly by in a little bit that's being disobedient provoking someone to wrath provoking the environment around them to harm but then you say but god grace and mercy is a fit for what for you to continue to do this evil and so that's when the lord says what happens when I command you and I show you how to go this way, but you're going this way? And so that's when he says things change. Thank you, Jesus. And so the Lord said, don't mock him. Don't watch these videos and laugh and roll your eyes 
is disrespectful. And if you can't respect somebody, that's what the Lord is saying. You can't respect him. If you can't respect your brother and sister down here or love them or me, you don't love the Lord. And so the next message I saw was, did you pray to ask God to see his heart? Like, have you ever thought about the Lord having a heart? Because we have one with emotions. I know people say God don't have feelings and all of this, but if we're made in his image somewhere along the line, you have to feel the heartbreak that he's feeling because you're tearing apart the church because he said one person could get a blessing at the end of the day. You got upset that God told this person yes for their life, for their way. And you just started acting out in sin and saying it was good and it was okay because of your authority. And that's what the Lord is saying. You're breaking his heart. Because he trusted you to know better and to do better. If he was to test you this way, you should have been okay and you should have passed the test. But the fact that you keep not passing the test every day that you wake up, you keep sinning and saying it's good. It's breaking his heart because now he can't get to you. Because everything that you want to do is in your flesh and it's pleasing your flesh. I got to watch and see what's going on. She going live. It's a, I feel something in the spirit. Let me go over here. It's a, and God said, Samuel, wrath for God. You, it don't matter until he blew in the face. He keep telling you to stop, go a different way. That's not okay. And you just keep doing the same thing, stalking. Following people around, man or woman or God, because it goes back and forth. Provoking me to wrath is taking away my peace because you don't like that I'm moving forward in life. And so the message today is some of us have friends in high places. You may be too strong for us, but we got God has somebody stronger than you. And that's what keeps me going every day. When I fight against this person, this devil in the spiritual realm, this witch over here, and this, it's always good to know that you're on the team of the God with all the power and dominion and authority.